The next type of a non-access modifier is abstract modifier. What do you mean by abstract modifier? What is this abstract keyword? What it does? So let us first understand what is an abstract keyword, then we'll understand the rest of the points. Here the abstract is nothing but it's an outline of something. It means only an outline, but the container is empty. You're not defining what is there in a container. You just define the size of the container, the color of the container, but you're not defining what is there in that container. So an abstract keyword is used for any classes or the members that you would just want to declare, but not instantiate it or do not want to define that particular class or a member. You may want to create a class where you say we are creating a class a human and we are creating certain methods sleeping, walking, talking, but we do not know what will this sleeping do, what will this walking do or you are trying to create certain addition, subtraction, some methods, but you do not want to define what each of these methods do. You are just providing an outline of your class. You are just saying this program will do so and so, but what will it implement? How will it do? You are not defining anything. So where do you define all this is that you define all this in another class. You extend the abstract class, you implement all these methods in the class that you would want to define. So you provide a line or the picture, the out or the portrait of a picture of a class in one and then you define this portrait in another class. So how do you create an abstract class? Any class which has a keyword or which has preceded with a keyword called abstract becomes an abstract class. That is what here it says a class with abstract keyword is an abstract class and these abstract class are not instantiated. As we discussed in that example, it is just an outline. We are not defining. That is what it is not instantiated. These are instantiated by some other class. What in a class if you have any abstract or non-abstract method? We need to understand what are abstract method, what are non-abstract method, which kind of a classes can hold each of them. An abstract class can hold both abstract method and non-abstract method. Non-abstract methods are a normal methods and abstract methods are again those methods which are not defined in detail, only you are providing an outline of it. But a normal class cannot have a abstract method, it can only have normal methods. And still if you want to define a class with an abstract method, you need to make that class as an abstract, otherwise you will receive a compile time error. Next it says that any class that extends an abstract class must implement all the abstract methods of that class. For example, you here have two classes A and B where A is an abstract class and B is a normal class. This abstract class A has certain abstract methods and this B has certain normal methods. An abstract class can also have normal methods. Now when B is trying to call the methods of an abstract class, it need to implement each and every abstract and non-abstract method of car that is class A. What is the other case? Until unless your subclass is an abstract class, you will not have to call. So if your class is trying to extend, which is a normal class, if a normal class is trying to extend an abstract class, then it need to implement all the methods of an abstract class until unless it is an abstract type or until unless a subclass is an abstract type. The next one it says an abstract method is a method declared without any implementation. It talks about what is a method that we have already discussed. An abstract method is nothing but you are not defining the body, you are not defining the purpose of this method. You are just providing an outline that we have created a method. Void sleeping, abstract void sleeping. That is you are just providing a method called abstract but you are not defining that particular method, you are not implementing. and the body will be implemented of an abstract method by any other class. How you write an abstract method? An abstract method in the normal way you write the modifier, abstract keyword, then the method name open close braces, 
and semicolon that's it because you are not defining until unless you define the purpose it becomes abstract if you're not defining the purpose it is an abstract if you are defining a purpose it is not an abstract class so we summarize here by saying that an abstract keyword is mainly used when you just want to provide the outline of your picture you do not want to define what exactly will this class do